please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. Today is Friday, February 2nd. Happy Groundhog's Day. Attention boys junior high basketball. Uniforms are due to Coach Varga by Monday, February 5th. Please be sure to bring everything in by then. Good luck to all TSA members this weekend at Northern Cambria at the regional TSA competition. The varsity cheerleaders will be taking orders for Valentine's Day carnations. They will be selling them during lunch for $2. They will be delivered on February 14th. Send them to your special someone. Spread the love. Track quickness will be every Tuesday and Thursday from 310 to 410 in the auxiliary gym. This is open for any junior high or senior high school student and will get you ready for the track season. We will meet every Tuesday and Thursday till the season starts. Any girls junior high volleyball player that has not received paperwork to be eligible to practice on the first legal practice date of February 19th should see Mr. Slatkoff in room 228A as soon as possible. Any student athlete that is planning to sign their letter of intent to play intercollegiate athletics on signing day, which is February 7th, should see Mr. Slatkoff as soon as possible. The National History B qualifiers will be listed after the news. These students will be traveling to Pittsburgh in April to represent our district. Today for lunch, we are having macaroni and cheese, whole grain, stewed tomatoes, sliced peaches. Now let's take a look at our Winter Weather and Sports Report. Good morning, it's Jonathan here with your Friday weather forecast. Today is going to be pretty cold with a high of 16 and a low of 10 degrees. It will be pretty windy out today as the clouds roll into the sky. But you better get used to the cold weather because the weekend is showing snow showers for the next five days beginning with partly cloudy skies on Saturday. The highs and lows will be below freezing most days and the chance for snow is above 50% every day. Super Bowl Sunday is calling for a 90% chance of snow all day and into the night, so we can only hope that we begin our school week with a two-hour delay. This is Seth here with your brain teaser of the day. My food and drink were left behind by ancients from another time. I grind my feet upon the earth with strength come from a metal hearth. My mind is trapped when I run free when still it wanders far from me. What am I? If you guessed car, you are correct. Thanks and have a great day. Will he see his shadow or will he not? This is the question. Groundhog Day is reserved on February 2nd, each year in the United States and Canada, for a nice welcome break during the winter. On this day, the groundhog awakens from his nap and goes outside to see if he can see his shadow. It is believed by many that if the groundhog sees his shadow, that there will be six more weeks of winter. Guess you This year's Super Bowl is between the New England Patriots versus the Philadelphia Eagles. The Super Bowl is on a Sunday, February 4th at 6.30 p.m. The New England Patriots are known for their firepower on offense, while the Eagles are known for their stellar defense. On the defensive end of the ball, the Patriots allow 366 yards per game, while the Eagles only allow 306.5 yards per game. On the offensive side of the ball, the Patriots average 394.2 yards per game, while the Eagles average only 365.8 yards per game. The Patriots have five Super Bowl wins, but appeared in nine Super Bowl games. 
while the Eagles have zero Super Bowl wins, but they appeared in two Super Bowl games. Here are some predictions on who won Super Bowl 52 from the middle school and high school students. So I'm here with uh, Greg and Jake. So uh, Greg, who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? New England Parrots. Um, why? Tim Bradley doing great. Uh, okay. Uh, Jake? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna have to go with the Eagles, uh, just because you know, just gotta rep Pennsylvania, you know. So I'm here with Sally. Sally, who do you think is gonna win the Super Bowl? Eagles. Why? Because I think they're a better team and they don't cheat. All right. <laughs> I'm here with Kevin. Kevin, who do you think is gonna win the Super Bowl? Eagles. Why? Nick Foles is the goat, you know. Good stuff. All right, Joe, who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? Eagles. Why? Because I don't have a reason. I just well, I just want them to win. All right. All right, I'm here with uh, Jason. Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? The Eagles. Why? Because the Steelers didn't win. Here with Gene. Gene, who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? I think the Eagles will pull it out 31-27. Why? Because the Eagles have a good offense and the Patriots defense has been struggling a little bit this year. Sounds good. All right, I'm here with Tyler. Tyler, who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? Definitely the Eagles. Why? Because the uh, Eagles don't pay off the refs like the Patriots, and Tom Brady is getting old, and he likes to deflate footballs for a living. So that's why the Eagles are going to win. Today's word of the day is catharsis. Use the noun catharsis to refer to the experience a person can have of releasing emotional tension and feeling refreshed afterwards. Thanks and have a great day.